Customers often complain that the Parktronic system triggers sporadically and without obvious cause. Here, the system issued a full warning, even though there was no obstacle in the way. This film shows you what to do in cases like this. First, try to trace the cause of the fault. To do so, monitor the warning elements. However, the cause of faulty triggering cannot always be found in the workshop. Next, check the sensors on the front bumper. You may be able to find something here, for example, stone chipping. There is a tips document about performing a visual inspection, GI 54, 65N0-38729. If possible, determine on which side of the vehicle the problem is occurring. The sensors are numbered clockwise from right to left. At the front, the first sensor is located on the left-hand side in the direction of travel. Sensors 7 to 10 are located at the back of the vehicle. In the Parktronic menu, look at the actual values of the sensors to determine which sensor is triggering without obvious cause. Problems are frequently caused by the license plate or an advertising frame attached to it. If the advertising frame is not correctly screwed on, there will be a gap between the bumper and license plate at the sides. The sound waves are caught in this gap and reflected back to the sensor. The license plate should be attached so that there is no gap between the license plate and bumper, ideally without an advertising frame. The actual value should then return to 255. If the rear sensors trigger incorrectly, investigate whether there are add-ons, steps, a trailer hitch, or similar installed at the rear end. The signal could be reflected by these elements, causing the system to trigger. The Parktronic also issues a full warning here. In the Parktronic menu of Star Diagnosis, check whether the system has detected a trailer hitch. If not, a trailer hitch must be coded. The trailer hitch must be set to present in the EZS. This is normally performed online via SCN programming. The same procedure must be performed in the EZS for Mercedes approved steps. Unapproved steps should not be installed in combination with Parktronic. The area of the trailer hitch and step is now ignored by the sensors. The measuring range starts at an appropriate distance away from the add-ons. The minimum distance between the obstacle and the end of the vehicle returns to 30 centimeters. The rear-end variant coded into the system can be read out directly in the Parktronic menu under Actual Values System Status. The coding is transferred at the next ignition change. The warning elements flash twice when the key is turned. This confirms the adjustment. In the Parktronic menu, it is also possible to adjust the frequency and volume of the acoustic warning. The acoustic warning for the front should have a higher frequency than the warning for the rear. Each time a coding is changed, an ignition change must be performed to transfer the new setting. Another potential source of faults is interference vibration after the sensors transmit sound waves. The fault memory may provide useful information. Excessive interference vibration occurs when the sensor is not seated centrally in the built-in bracket. This can be seen in a visual inspection. The vibrating membrane may touch the edge of the built-in bracket. In this case, the vibration is transmitted to the bumper. This results in a sporadic risk of faulty triggering. Detach the bumper and correct the fault. Every sensor is inserted into the built-in bracket with a silicone ring. The purpose of this decoupling ring is to decouple the ultrasound from the sensor so that the sensor can emit its sound waves towards the front unhindered. It is important that the correct decoupling ring is installed. Only the type of ring approved for the vehicle model may be used. In this case, the vehicle is a sprinter. During installation, ensure that the retaining arm of the built-in bracket is engaged on both sides and that both of the guide tabs press the sensor into the socket. Otherwise, the sensor will be pressed into the built-in bracket at an angle. This will cause interference vibration to occur again. The gap between the sensor membrane and the installation housing must be uniform. 
Interference vibration can also be caused by paint residues between the sensor and the installation fixture. The sensor must not be painted while it is installed. The sensor must always be painted separately. These cardboard boxes included in the package contents can be used to paint the sensor. According to the body manufacturer guidelines, the sensor may not be installed unpainted. Finally, we would like to present a special feature of the Parktronic system. The roll backwards function, the vehicle rolls backward unintentionally. An obstacle enters the hazard area. Parktronic activates itself automatically and issues a full warning. Even with these support systems, it is important to drive attentively.